In this video, we'll be looking at how to calculate relative atomic mass. In my video on isotopes, I explained that we, when we consider the mass of an element, we are using the relative atomic mass of the various isotopes that belong to that element. In this video, we'll find out how to calculate that relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass is denoted by AR. First, you take the mass of the first element, first isotope, multiply it with its percentage abundance, and then mass of the second isotope, and multiply it with its percentage abundance. Now divide this entire thing by 100. This is your formula. Now your numerator will vary based on how many isotopes you have. If you have 5 isotopes, you will have to do this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 more times. Write this thing again because this is for each. This mass belongs to one isotope. This mass belongs to the other isotope. Now you might have a question. Why do we have to look at the percentage abundance. I mentioned the word percentage abundance. It's because suppose we want to take carbon in a reaction as a reactant. If we just take the atomic mass of various isotopes and find their average to calculate the relative atomic mass, then the reaction probably won't give the desired number of products. You can't just take all of them and divide it and then just find the average because we didn't get the right amount. Or this, we won't get the amount of products we want because we, we got a wrong average. To understand why we got a wrong average, let's take an example of hydrogen. Hydrogen has three hi hi isotopes. So hydrogen 1, hydrogen 2, and we have hydrogen 3. We look at mass of each isotope. Mass of the first one is 1.007825. I just write mass over here. And then we have 2.014. And we have 3.016049. And our last column is going to be a percentage abundance. Percentage abundance. Ninety nine point nine eight eight five zero point zero one one five and then you have zero point zero zero three. Look at this. We have different percentage abundance. Hydrogen one is the most common in hydrogen. Suppose you just take uh, I don't know ten grams of hydrogen. Do you think it will be made of equal amounts of all of the isotopes or close amounts? No. This percentage is how much of it is in the planet. So 99.985 percentage of what you get will be hydrogen 1. The mass is different for each of them because the number of neutrons are varying. So you need to take you need to look at the percentage so that you don't get a value that's off. You want to get a value that's that's uh, more accurate. And you are going to have most of your 10 grams of hydrogen is going to be made of hydrogen 1, some little bit of it of hydrogen 2, and very trace amounts of hydrogen 3. So taking an average won't be the right thing to do, which is why we take percentage. Now if we substitute this in the formula,
divided by 100 if you do this calculation it's just basic math do what's in the uh, parentheses first do all of these find the values add them up divide by 100 that is going to give you 1.008 if you go to the periodic table hydrogen has 1.008 that's it relative atomic mass we found it now let's look at another question and find out relative atomic mass. You have chromium, so we have chromium 50 first. Let me just give the mass number of everything and percentage abundance. First you have mass number of 50, percentage abundance of 4.4 Another isotope mass number of 52 and percentage abundance of 33.7 Next isotope with a mass of 53 9.5 Another one with 54 and 2.4 AR so it will be 50 into 4.4 plus 52 into 83.7 plus 53 into 9.5 plus 54 into 2.4 it's because you want to take the mass number and abundance of each multiply all of them and then add these values which will give you your numerator and then divide this entire thing by 100 if you do the calculations your relative atomic mass is going to be 52.055 grams per mole and you can check that for chromium over here Chromium, that's 51.996 Yeah, it's similar, we took in more rounded values maybe Yeah, so this is how you find the relative atomic mass of any given element with the, with the isotopes This is all for this video Thank you so much for watching Subscribe to our channel Like the video And comment on your thoughts about the video